Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today boys we're gonna be on a little bit of a different bike all right we're gonna be on the Honda now a couple of videos ago I was on the Hyundai and uh showing it off trying to trying to figure it out because let me tell you something it's very different from the YZ if you guys are a normal here you guys know oh my goodness I'm so sorry Caden <laughs> oh dude this is gonna be so fun I need some follow cams but if you guys are a normal here you guys know I've been just on the YZ for like basically the last two months and uh, I love the bike. I love how the gearing. Um, this bike has much longer gearing. It's a lot harder to get up in the gears. Like, I mean, you're basically never in fifth gear and even fourth gear is kind of a, a pipe dream. So it definitely is a lot different, but we're gonna be testing this bike out here and then doing a race here on club. Um, this is my Papiti server. So yeah, if you guys ever see it, it'll just be US Papiti Trojan number one, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. So pop in i might be in there I might change the track up it's usually just a forest um rotation it just does forest a bunch so i changed it to club we'll see how many people do this race a lot, usually when i do this a lot of people leave so that kind of sucks but yeah hit the like button hit that subscribe button and uh yeah let me let me talk about the bike real quick i might have a setup on here i actually don't even know let's go check right now we to be full transparency here Okay, we got 16 people. Hopefully they all do the race. All right, we have MX. So it's down to one on the fuel. I'm gonna go lower. 9120 is usual. It's up to default. Suspension, it looks like I softened everything. Didn't change anything more than once. So just everything's one tick softer. Okay, drivetrain's different. As you can see, I lowered it a bit just to feel more like the YZ. Swing arms also, oh, we raised it, right? what the heck yeah i'm gonna lower that i'm gonna lower that to four and then it feels like the bike rides pretty high so we're gonna lower the fork offset actually i don't know if this affects i'm pretty sure if you lower the offset it rides lower maybe i don't know i don't know much about oh fork height there we go let's put that like three all right i don't know what i just did but oh yeah already feels different oh my goodness the front end is so much lower here which should help us in cornering a bit um, slide out a little bit less, hopefully. I might be completely wrong, but... Oh, wow, the back end's so much higher than the front. All right. Overall feels pretty good. I should not be in fourth gear right there. Oh, man. So I can already see the problem. When I land on the front end, it just kind of, like, just goes away. It feels like the Husky a bit. Um... It just feels like it's riding super low, the Husky, and like if you case something, it just like there's no survival. It feels like with the YZ, it has this perfect suspension area where even if you case something, you can just survive it. So, I mean, we're on club here. We shouldn't be casing much or OJing much. Oh, that felt good. Oh, it feels really good, actually. Corner super nicely. The bike just, I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't feel powerful. I think a lot of it has to do with the sound, to be honest with you. I do not like the sound of this Hyundai. But this has been the talk of the town, dude. Everyone's saying Honda's best bike. I go into these motocross lobbies. Everyone's on the Honda. Um, even Supercross people are going to the Honda, which really surprises me. I don't, I don't like this bike at all in Supercross. Like, in my eyes, the YZ is 10 times better. I know Keegan... Um, is running the YZ. He's the points leader on the East Coast. I'm pretty sure he's still the points leader. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's on the YZ. I, I think the YZ is the best 250 for Supercross. I just do. Especially if you're a beginner. I This bike feels super hard to learn. And with the long gearing, dude, I could not imagine being a beginner and trying to do Supercross with long gearing. It literally feels impossible. Let's we'll see what time we run here. I haven't ridden club in a minute. I don't know when my last video on club was. It might have been... Oh, wait. Did I do... No, I didn't. I don't even know. It might have been my hour video. Alright, so that's a one flat. 0.5. This feels really good. We might have just found the god set up, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see what happens in this race here, but, dude, I'm liking this thing. If you guys are wondering about the paint, a lot of people were, were wondering about it. Um, it's Jet Lawrence's A2 paint it's like the bike they ran the white with the pink accent line i'm not sure where it is in the shop and i'm too lazy to post the link so i'm just i'm telling you what it's called 
shouldn't be too hard to find but uh yeah we're into this race hopefully we get a full gate i don't know again i've had pretty bad luck with changing the track listen i get a lot of people want to play forest that's why they join this server but uh hey if you guys are in here just 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 race uh, please <laughs> please all right we basically got a full gate uh, i'll take it i will take it but uh, yeah i do want to like do like a tfc like series maybe at some point and we use MMR to calculate the points. I don't know. I feel like that'd be pretty interesting. But uh, I mean, there's a lot of things I can do with this server. I just gotta have the time to do. Them. Oh my goodness! Wow, bro, Onekins just copying me there. Just going for the <laughs> the manual championship, dude. That is hilarious. All right, we're gonna cut down in here. And then try to cut on the right of this Honda and then cut in before the finish. Oh, wow. He went rogue. I don't know what he was thinking there. Oh. Let's see if we get run high. Oh, we are going to get run high by Mr. Grant. Gotta love Grant, dude. Oh, please let me on the track. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Grantula. Why? All right, we can make this come back. I know we can do it. Plessinger back there on the Suzuki. Dude, AP, man. Oh, my goodness. I've never felt so sad watching a, a motocross race, supercross race ever in my life. That was insane. And then the whole Deegans. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but I'll probably talk about it in the next one. All right, that dude just got absolutely monosky, brother. I don't know what's going on with the netcode in this race, but it, I mean, people are disappearing. It's just, everyone's going AWOL right now. Who's this dude? Mr. Sundell. Yeah, out here going, he going crazy. Let me cut on his inside here. Oh yeah, we got him. Whoa! He went a little bit rogue too. All right, we're gaining time. We're 14 seconds back on Caden, who's pretty fast, because I just did a race with him on Forest as a little warm-up, and he was basically on my tail. So I don't I think First might be out of the back, but as far as the bike, that is the main point of this video. I kind of forgot. Um, yeah, I mean, with this track being smooth, it is definitely tough to tell. I mean... I think these are definitely not the best tracks to test the bike on, but I mean, as far as how it feels, I mean, it's definitely different from the YZ, but I can see the appeal 100%. It corners very nicely. I've had no back end issues, which is like one of the biggest problems I've seen with this bike. Oh my gosh. Apparently he's fine. Oh, one can let the cut on his inside here. Oh no, he's gonna go for my inside probably. All right, he's gonna be respectful. All right, who's up here? They're oh my god, the endo from Austin sauce, man! Holy crap! <laughs> I think Caden's gone, dude. He's on vacation up there. Oh, he were oh, we got Wunkin going for the inside. Look at this though. We're gonna Cooper Webb this man real quick. Oh. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. I was a little bit late on my move there. That was terrible. That was basically a T-bone for me. Hopefully he makes a TikTok about me. I, I'm open to it. Oh, I don't know what place we're in because timing and scoring is messed up. We got Mr. Sundell here. We're going to take his inside. Oh my god. Lapper's getting to go into AWOL there. Oh, this is last lap? I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's the third lap. Austin here. ESR, oh my god, he went to the moon for a second there. I don't know what happened. Oh, Parker. Parker's going AWOL on the, on the Kawasaki. Oh, I don't know if I should stay behind him. Yeah, I kind of I kind of saw that too late there. Oh! Sundell is moving right now. What is happening? Dude, oh my god, Parker's having a field day. Oh my goodness, more carnage. Sundell's gonna get a little frisky there. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? 
Yo, I'm just trying to ride, bro. Oh, this is Parker is everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love this game, man. Am I in fourth? Oh, I think we got Austin up here. Dang it, dude. I mean, as far as the bike, I, for I forgot about the bike. The bike feels real good. We ran a one minute flat, too, so. It's, my lap times are pretty good, especially for not being on this track for a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, Honda's great. Obviously, we're going to have to make another video on a, a bit of a smoother track, I would say. Or not a smoother track, a rougher track. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. These gloves are sick, too. We got the freaking Rick and Morty gloves. I don't know who made this pack. But there's, like, a bunch of really, really cool gloves in it. So, shout out to that guy. I don't know who it was, but... I feel like most of you guys probably already picked up that pack. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you have not already, I really appreciate this sport. We're so close to 10K. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.